Well, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to this week's vlog. It is the witchy vlog. I'm in a very witchy mood today, this Monday on October 3rd, because I have, well, I have my Halloween socks. And I just watched Hocus Pocus 2, and then I started watching the reunion thing they did for the 25th reunion. Uh, I'll probably watch more of that later, and then I also saw this drag extravaganza thing that's like super Halloween-y, so I might watch that. But that's not what I'm supposed to be talking about in this intro. It's witchy week. So many books here that I can read. I'm gonna start with the group book which is Spells Trouble. I believe this is your good old-fashioned Salem Witch story, so I'm gonna start off with this one to obviously get the group book done and bump me over to 300 points to get me to that uh, Goblin Queen status. Yes, I am still sick. That's why my voice is like two octaves lower than it normally is and I have become an alto instead of a soprano. Um, which is always the funniest thing. That's the one thing I actually like about being sick is all of a sudden I can hit all these low notes that I could never before. Anyway, I'm just gonna quick through, go through all the other books I have in this ginormous stack here of potential books I can read. Now this next book, um, was not one I was planning on reading for the Witch Week. I wasn't planning on reading it for spooky season, but it looks like it's gonna be our November book pick for my book club and it's a witch story so I thought well if I'm gonna read it I should read it now it's Wild is a Witch by Rachel Griffin oh it's such a beautiful book um I wasn't really gonna plan on reading it because it's not like spooky witch it's like environmental seasonal save the world kind of witch but you know it all works it's something I wanted to read soon anyway so that's another one I will need to read soon and then like, all these books are from the library, <laughs> because I love the library. Um, I have The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. I have Payback's a Witch by Lana Harper. I have Go Hex Yourself by Jessica Clare. These Witches Don't B Burn by Isabel Sterling, which we read The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling for Vampire Week. It was the group book. I have The Witch Haven by Sasha Payton Smith. And the second book to this is coming out soon. And finally, I have The Monarchs by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. It's the sequel to The Ravens, which I read last year and I own and I love. So that's probably the order I would prioritize them in, just because it goes from smallest to largest, just so I can try and read as many as possible. Uh, but you know, you never really know. So yeah, that is two, three, four, five, six, seven eight books that I could potentially read this week. If I don't finish all eight, which I definitely won't finish all eight, I am gonna keep the books until they are due back at the library, just in case like another week I finish all the books that I wanted to, then I have these to fall back on. Uh, Cause I do want to read them all, I do. But yeah, so that is this week. Like I said, I am sick, so I'm just not doing much. Uh, I went, like I said, I went to the library. I have filmed three videos. I have one more yet to film. I just don't have the motivation, but I know once I get it done, I'm going to be so happy. It's my bullet journal, um, which my bullet journal videos is probably the video that's most at risk of being cut next year. Just, I'm not a creative person. So coming up with different spreads and themes for every month is a little difficult for me so let me know if you want me to continue doing bullet journal videos because if you want me to i will gladly i'm not saying i'm gonna stop keeping a bullet journal i'm just saying i'm gonna stop making it look nice and therefore stop making videos but anyway not the point we're gonna read i'm gonna start by reading this i feel witchy let the magic begin It's Wednesday, it's almost two o'clock. I have taken today and yesterday off um, as sick days because I am quite clearly sick. I am going through tissues like nobody's business and on my third cup of tea today. So 
I am uploading the last of my, oh, I look disgusting, I'm so sorry. I am uploading the last of my videos that I had filmed. <laughs> my voice was sounding better just a little bit ago, so hopefully it's not too bad on this video. But then I've got lots of videos done and I am very happy about that. Oh my word. I really want to go back to work tomorrow, but we'll just have to see because this is ridiculous. Anyway, reading. Let's talk about reading because, you know, sick days. Reading. I initially was going to start Spells Trouble, but I just wasn't super in the mood for it. Like, I don't want to force myself to read it just because it is a group book. I don't want to read it first. So I'm going to put this on pause for a minute and I'm actually picking up Wild is the Witch. So it's another witchy book, that's totally fine. Just feeling the more natural witch vibe. So I've started reading this one, I'm just on chapter three. Um, I'm hoping I can actually finish it today. I feel like awake and alive enough that I can actually like read, which is kind of nice. I also have the audiobook for this, which also really helps. So I'm gonna read Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin and we're gonna see how that turns out today. And then I will put Spells Trouble next. So, but I have so many like contemporary witchy books that I'm excited to get to as well. I feel like I just want to sit down and read them all. So, I've got a lot of plans and ambitions this week, and it's already Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, so I'm sorry for how ugly I sound. Oh well, let's read. So, I am a little over halfway through Wild as the Witch by Rachel Griffin. There are a lot of things I love about this book. I love the atmosphere, I love the plot, I love the location, of course. I never knew that I would like the Pacific Northwest until I started re reading Rachel Griffin books. But one thing I will say is that while the banter in this book is good, you know, it's, it's not the best banter I've read, but it's definitely not the worst. I'm enjoying it. I am really getting sick of the whole enemies to lovers where... The love interest, the guy, is like an ass before she starts to, like, our main character starts being like, oh, maybe he's an ass because there are other parts of his life that I don't know about. I feel like you don't have to do enemies to lovers and because, so like, it's a very tame enemies to lovers because they work together on the reservation that her mom owns. Like, he's an intern and she works there and so they're co-workers but they they don't like each other and so i don't know it's not like my favorite that i've read but i do really like a lot of things that are happening so the premise of this book is that our main character is a witch and she gets really frustrated at the guy and she's had a lot of trauma in her past regarding uh like her friend and spells that they are not supposed to do and so she gets really frustrated at him and she decides to curse him to be a mage which is illegal which is why she didn't actually cast the curse, but then the owl took it. There's an owl. And so now they're hunting the owl together. And he doesn't know what's going on because he doesn't know she's a witch and he doesn't like witches. So very quickly, that's the plot. And I'm really enjoying it so far. Just the vibes are all there. It's It takes place in spring, but it's like in the woods in a rainy kind of you know, Pacific Northwest. So, like, it's it's a spring book, but it's not too out of place right now. I mean, the sun is shining, but, like, fall can be kind of dreary as well, so this would be a good rainy day read. Okay, I finished Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin, and I gotta say, my uh, standards for five stars is pretty high, but my standards for, like, four and 4.5 stars is not near as high. But... I gave Wild is the Witch 4.5 out of 5 stars, and I think it deserves it. it. It was so good, so focused on, like, the atmosphere. My only issues were with, um, what I mentioned earlier about just not being quite as invested in the love interest as I wish I had been, as well as I think there were some parts of it that were a little repetitive, like she would literally explain the same thing a second time a little bit later, and I didn't quite think it was necessary, but other than that, it was an amazing book, and I loved it, just like I loved the first one. I do think it is better than the first one, um, Nature of Witches, her first book. I do think it's better than that one, so there's that. So I finished it, and I am now in the mood for Spells Trouble. I think that 
Wild as a Witch was more witchy than I was expecting it to be. And I do really want to read this. I also downloaded the audiobook for this. I thought, so I have two libraries on my uh, audiobook app, the one in, from my hometown and the one where I currently live. And I knew I had it on hold for one of them, but I realized I didn't look at the other one and it was available. So I have the audiobook. So I am starting this and I'm going to get going on it. I'm only like two chapters in, so I, I have like no thoughts other than these characters feel like dumb high school 16 year old teenagers and like good but also ugh. I will be starting this one I probably won't be able to finish it today although I do want to but we'll see how far I get I'll update you tomorrow in terms of my health I feel like I keep getting better and then getting worse and then getting better I've had so much tea today I really want to go to work because I hate not like doing things but we'll see anyway uh, I probably won't update you again tonight unless I have, like, substantial feelings on this book. So, there you go. Alright, it is Friday. I am feeling better. Um, I am gonna go to work today. It's gonna kick my butt. I'm gonna feel absolutely terrible, but I'm gonna do it. Um, but yesterday, my partner stayed home with me all day and really helped me, like, feel better. And I finished... Spells Trouble, and I didn't really like it. I'm giving it two out of five stars. Ah, oh, man. The writing, I did not like the writing at all. I felt like the characters, like they tried so hard to make the characters seem like teenagers, and it was just cringy. I don't like how more of the book came from the drama of their lives rather than like the actual story plot like I felt like they prioritized boyfriend over like closing the gate that resulted in their mother's death which was insane it just didn't feel right and I just didn't like how it went I felt like it was a very slow moving like the plot took forever and then it ended up being super basic and like there's an epilogue that gives it the cliffhanger for a second book but I'm not gonna read the second book I just, I was not a fan of this at all. So, I finished the group book. So, I've already finished two books this week. Hopefully, I can finish one or two more. The next one I'm going to pick up is the X-Hex. So, I'm excited. I've heard good things about this one. I just got home from work, so it's a little past 7.30. I was going to start the X-Hex this morning. I started the prologue, and then I just decided to take a nap because I wanted to be well-rested before work. So... I, I want to read this because I've heard lots of good things about it and it's kind of next on my list of witchy books I want to read. But also, the third and final season of Dairy Girls dropped today on Netflix. And I kind of want to just binge that as well. And then also wave two of the prompts for Spoopathon just came out. So maybe that'll motivate me to read who knows? Like, I really want to read, but also, Dairy Girls. Like, I just need to watch that once. Yeah. So that, that's just where I'm at right now. Um, and the other thing is, is that I do really want to read as much of this tonight as I can because tomorrow I'm super busy. I have two sets of plans after work. And then Sunday, we're going to go apple picking and go to a football game, a soccer game. Um, so Sunday's pretty booked, and then that's the end of the witchy week, and I still have, you know, like a shit ton of books. I still have like six books um, that I can read, and obviously I'm not expecting get, to get to them all, but I want to finish at least two more. But I need to sleep, because I'm still in recovery from being sick. I am feeling better, though, but I'm still very much in recovery. So... Hopefully I'll read this, we'll see. I watched all of Dairy Girls. I wanna cry. And I'm gonna cry later. Hello. It, what day is it? It's Saturday. I have not done any reading, but I am heading out to a couple of parties. My first college party, woohoo. Um, so the theme of the first party is emo goth, so. 
I think we pull it off pretty well for people who never had emo phases in high school. I mean, I did listen to my chemical romance. Yeah, but you, you didn't do this. <laughs> no, I Anyway, didn't. so we'll do that. And then we have a geography department uh, bar crawl which afterwards. Is, which is the nerdiest way you can get <laughs> drunk possibly. True um, that. So we're going to be with a bunch of cartographers drinking a lot and going from place to place. And which dressing, we will have... Oh. Yes, we will have different outfit changes for that. <laughs> Gotta dress like maps. It's gonna be a blast. Yo, it's Sunday and Brandon is horrendously hungover. I am starting the X-Hex and I will probably do some reading of it tonight. We're also gonna play a board game. Yes, mm -hmm. Katie, yeah. I'm 50 pages into this, so I'm not very far in, but I gotta say, there's a lot of hype around this book. Like, a lot of people really liked it. But I'm kind of confused a little bit just because of the hex that they seem to put on him. I don't see how it's affecting him yet, and it's kind of a ridiculous hex. Like, I can appreciate it, but just for the amount of hype, I was expecting it to be something a little bigger. But, yeah, we'll see. So, just letting you know I'm starting this. Is Monday which means the witchy week is officially over but as you saw last night I did start reading the X hex and actually I did finish it so that's another 25 points which means I got a total of 125 points this week I read spells trouble which was the group book the X hex and wild is the witch which now puts me at 325 is that what it was 375 points so I'm well into the uh, ruler of goblins or the goblin queen and I am working my way towards the final tier empress of the underworld anyway so the X hex I feel like this so I had eight witchy books that I could read this week and I prioritize this one over all of the other kind of contemporary witchy books, you know, this one versus Payback's a Witch, Go Hex Yourself, you know, those, the other books that are just pun names. Because this was the most hyped of all of those types of books. This is the one that I've always seen people talk about and really, really like. I gave this two out of five stars. I did not enjoy it near as much as other people did. I thought, well, first off, I thought it was overhyped. Second off, I didn't like how the curse happened. Like, I thought it was hilarious and it was very fun. But in the end, I was not satisfied with how the fact that they cursed him with specific things was not at all how the curse was played out. And I thought that was, like, very misleading. I did not like the chemistry between the characters. I feel like it was purely physical and there was no emotional attachment. Like, I don't believe that the characters grew to love each other again because it's a second chance romance I just felt like I just didn't feel an actual connection there I thought they just had a lot of sex and then on top of that like they have two weeks to lift the curse before a lot of really bad things happening and bad things are happening during this time but like it all felt ignored like the characters just sat there and had sex for two weeks rather than solving the little problems or trying to get the curse lifted and it made zero sense as to why like there were a couple of things that happened at the beginning of the book that was like oh no these are the results of the curse and then it was dropped like nothing else in their lives went wrong it was like they almost weren't cursed except for the fact that they had to figure out how to lift the curse I just I wasn't a fan and I also really didn't like the writing of the book I didn't honestly the sentence structure I felt like there were so many sentences that did not have a subject 
or a noun at the beginning and that's not how my brain likes to read it like just saying wanted him to blah 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 like I know it's talking about Vivian our main character I know it's she wanted but it trips me up not to have the she at the beginning to not have the subject at the beginning and that was all throughout the book like I felt like this was a not well edited book and then on top of all that on top of not liking the writing thinking the book just wasn't edited like it would constantly take me out of the story I would have to stop and reread the sentence to figure it out even though like the writing itself wasn't hard it was very basic and just like not super impressive and then it just wasn't edited well or put together well and it, it just it bothered me so much and then one of the characters names was misspelled later in the book like I saw it and I went that doesn't look right that doesn't look familiar and I went back into earlier in the book and I was like yeah they didn't spell the name correctly at this time in the book and it just like you gotta pay attention to details like that you gotta spell your characters names the same way throughout the entire book so it just I had a lot of issues with it I can see why other people like it I still think the vibes of it was really good like it's basically its own version of Halloween Town but with only witches and not everybody are witches um, but witches are like a secret thing like half the town is like witches and the other half are normal people that don't know the witches exist but everybody who is normal is even into witchy things so like nobody thinks it's out of place and like the town gets super excited about Halloween they have multiple festivals and the atmosphere was great for fall and Halloween <laughs> and I liked one of the side characters but that was about it and I liked the idea behind it and I think it was a good idea I just think it needed more development and I didn't like the ending how things were just so easily resolved there were a couple of times where I was like this is kind of plot convenience like cuz that makes no sense why it ended up how it did other than it just is something to be dropped and not focused on ever again like the ghost just disappears once they got the information from it like no you st I thought you you needed to find the ghost so it didn't come back but now that you've gotten your information from it it just disappeared like I just had a lot of issues with it and it took away from my overall enjoyment of the book so much even though I know it could have been such a good book so yeah it was a two out of five stars I was pretty disappointed in this one like I said I read three witchy books this week it is the end of the vlog because it's Monday now so Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I post videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. I am currently in my Spooky Season Spectacular where I'm posting vlogs every week with a themed reading due to how the Spectacular is being run by myself. Um, so next week is Ghost Week and I'm super excited for Ghostly Week. I am very excited for the books I have and whatnot so if you're interested subscribe stay tuned i also have bookish social media in the description down below that you can keep up with what i'm reading what i'm thinking about it and feeling about it as well as spectacular i will have the announcement video for the spectacular link down below so you can actually know what it is if you are new here get the themes understand how the point system works etc and so forth it is never too late to join <sighs> but yeah I post so I'm always posting vlogs once a week but then I have other videos on Sundays as well and again thank you very much for watching and until I see you all in the next video I wish you happy spooky reading mm -hmm.